about every week. It's the prophesy the downfall of America. It's the prophesy who you inwardly call Jesus Christ is coming back to redeem his people, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that are the four corners of the earth, according to their fatherland. We're going to start off first by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Call all Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Right. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us the truth and that our example is done to us. The greetings and salutations go to you, brethren, that do this work in sincerity and in truth. Right. Tell the world. All right, this is uh, about four days before what you people call Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. We, we like to call it Thanksgiving because that's the, that's the time that this land was taken for the, for the so called Native Americans. Now, the Native Americans aren't necessarily the, uh, the Native Americans, that's what we say so called. They're really the children of God, who you call Gad, and, and, uh, and uh, what's the other, other tribe? Simeon? Yeah, uh, Reuben. And Reuben. And also Reuben. And, and uh, God told the people in the Bible. Those are the uh, Native and Seminole Indians that you refer to today as those. Now, some of the reservations that, that the Tomahawks got the casino, so on and so forth. A lot of you don't uh, worship it and, and doing things that you don't understand. Like though you say Thanksgiving is a day to, to be with family and give thanks for all this other stuff, you're really commemorating the, the slaughter, the genocide of, of the Native Americans in their Seminole Indians. Whether, whether you understand it or not. Because there's spiritual monikers that go back and forth with the, with the traditions that you hold in those days. Matter of fact, start with Mark, Mark 7 and I think 6. The traditional things that you do that uphold the slaughter of those people. And you 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 follow them and you, you justify the tradition and you make excuse for it, but you still got the turkey, you still got the cranberry sauce, and you still got the, the stuff. Now, if you go back into, um, into some of the readings of, the, of those times, they'll let you know that the, uh, the so-called white man who was Esau, the devil in the Bible, he killed our people that are in the, uh, the North American uh, continent. And what he would do, there was supposed to be a treaty at the, uh, on, on Thanksgiving, on a certain day set for a treaty where they wouldn't war. But what they did is they double-crossed them. The way they double-crossed the Native Americans was they, uh, they said, we're going to have a, a ceasefire for that day. We're going to join together and have a big feast together. We're trying to talk about our differences in the, in the name of peace. But after that after that big dinner, when everybody got full and, and tired and sleepy, they went and slaughtered across the whole United States of Native Americans and Seminole Indians. Yeah, when, they, when we got itis, right? <laughs> yeah, and they really gave us the itis. And I'm sure we were partaking in these uh, abominable meats and so on and so forth also that they brought to the table. Yeah. You know? But but the, in analogy form, the, uh, the turkey represents the Native American Indian with the feathers. The cranberry sauce represents the blood that was shed on that day. And the stuffing is what they used to do when they would cut out the babies out of the pregnant women's stomachs, kill the stuff and, 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 and chop up the babies and stuff it back into their, um, into their stomachs. That stuff in the turkey. But that was just here in, in, in North America. It also went down with the so-called Jews in the Northern Kingdom, I mean the Southern Kingdom, over in, uh, in Europe. When they pushed us up into Turkey, and then they would go on turkey hunts around this time of year. And the turkey hunt itself would be out to hunt the so-called Negroes, so on Israelites, basically. They go out and hunt Israelites. And when they found a good woman, that was real thick like our women are, got big hips, ass and titties and all of that. They were thighs and all of that, they would cut, they would carve her up. How would they carve her? They cut off the breast and be like marveling at the size of the breast, the thighs, the hips, all of that. Just like you do the bird on, on, on the last uh, Thursday in, in, in America, in November. The same thing. So whether you know that you're, you're you're holding the Thanksgiving or not, you're still commemorating it. You hold to your tradition, not caring about the fact that you're, that you're honoring your people being destroyed by your enemy, your known enemy. And if you didn't know that the so-called white man was your enemy, now you know. And you, you need know. to just read it in the Bible and put two and two together. That's right. If you didn't know that, look what he's doing to you with his law. 
If you didn't know that, look what he's doing with his police force. Look what he's doing to you in your neighborhoods with your food. He's destroying you. But you guys want to be comfortable and stay in all your own belief system with these traditions. Forget what the Heavenly Father said about it. But we're going to read what he said. Instead of Mark uh, 7. Mark 7 and 6. Read it out loud, brother. Get some energy. Mark 7 and 6. He answered and said unto them, Well, have Elijah prophesied of you hypocrites? Uh -huh. As it is written, This people honored me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Yeah, the, the people, the, 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 the Negro, Latino, the Native Americans, they love to honor the most high. They love to, oh, thank God, oh, Jesus, this, this, and that. They honor him with his lips, but with their actions and with their minds, they are so far from the Heavenly Father. Right. They're nowhere near the Heavenly Father. You don't know what the Heavenly Father is thinking. Though his book is written and right before you, a lot of you contain his book inside your home. And don't ever think to read it, but let your pit bad pastor read what he wants you to know. The guess who taught him was to teach you? The so-called white man through his theology school. That says he's able now, once he knows his doctrine, to teach you something. And you go and you pay him all your money so you get so you uh to get uh, uh, uh to get lied to. That's what your pastor do to you. He lied to you. He's not gonna tell you the truth about Thanksgiving. Thanks taking. What's up, bro? Mark 7 and 6, and he answered and said unto them, Well, have Elijah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written. This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Uh -huh. How be it in vain do they work, worship me, teaching for doctrines of the commandments of men. They rather teach the perspective of God from what another man told them about God, versus teaching it from my mouth, which was written in this book. You can make excuses all you want about who wrote the Bible and the truth of the Bible, but the truth is, it came from the oracle of the Most High God. Right. It was given to men to prophesy from the Spirit of the Most High God. And the Spirit was on men to write it down also, whether you believe it or not. The That's Lord, why the, the, Lord, the Lord gave the word, blessed is he that published it. Uh -huh. All right, what it means to uh, publish means to make uh, 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 public. Uh -huh to make known publicly, man. Yeah. And that's exactly what the men, the prophets were doing of old. All right, the, the Lord put the spirit on them. He gave them this word, and they went out and proclaimed it to the people. Right. That's what a prophet do, to proclaim the word of the Heavenly Father out to the people, right. to warn his people and, 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 and proclaim the judgment of you heathen nations. Right. That's what this whole, this whole Bible is basically about in a nutshell, man. Proclaiming judgment. And All the, right. The difference between this book and every other book on the planet, how you know it's from the Most High God, is that there's prophecy written in the book. How can somebody that that that's on us up with everybody else that don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow prophesy something? Only the Heavenly Father would give them the prophecy that are coming to pass today. You guys don't want to believe any prophecies are coming to pass today, but uh, World War III was prophesied in the Bible. This book was published into English in 1611, and World War III was nowhere to be found, but guess what? Russia, Iran, and America are about to go to war in World right. War III. That's right. So how did that prophecy come to pass if it wasn't by somebody that knew the beginning and the end of the time? That's right. Because the Most High God delivered the oracles of this book, and the right. prophecies are beginning to speak clearly to all you people. The That's fact right. that we're out here on the streets is one of them. That we're supposed to come out here and warn you so there's no excuse when you get destroyed in your wicked way. Like, right. like one example is, is uh, following Thanksgiving. Uh, uh, celebrate Thanksgiving. Keep reading, bro. Verse 8. For laying aside the commandments of God, ye hold the traditions of men. For laying aside the commandments of the Most High God, you, 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 uh, you, you follow the traditions of men. Mm -hmm. You rather follow the white man's traditions of the devil. He ain't been nothing but a deceiver, because that's what the word devil oh. means. Deceiver, his whole time on the earth. You rather, you rather follow him and let him tell you what your God is, even though your God looks nothing like him. Your God looks like you. Your God is, your God is dark skinned like you. Brown skinned like you. Has, has a, a style like you. Has uh. curly hair, curly hair like you. 
that's no old left his ass dog that was a pedophile like uh, Chester Ray Borgia, who they painted him in the image to be. Right. Verse 8, and for laying aside the commandments of Yahweh, ye hold the traditions of men, as, a, as the washing of pots and cups, and many other such like things ye do. And he said unto hey, them. because really, he's cussing out them hypocritical as uh, scribes and Pharisees, man. Because they, they want to uh, go around acting like they better than the rest of the nation because they, they held a certain position in Israel. But when it came down to the law, they really wasn't keeping the law uh, like they was telling everybody to do. Yeah. But they was, instead of teaching to, to keep the law, they kept on harping on certain traditions yeah. that, 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 that was uh, being taught by, the, by their fathers, man. Like set up the table, like set up the table for sacrifices and things like that. Yeah, they're, more, they're more worried about the, uh, the ceremony of doing certain things versus actually doing the law themselves. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You, you gotta wash your hands before you prepare this, prepare this, or prepare that. Yeah. Wash the cups, and you know it, 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 that's that's tradition, man. But we talking about the law, statutes, and commandments here. Why don't you promote that? Why don't you uh, uh, live after that? You know, instead, of, it's not worrying about going off, uh, going off <laughs> of what man uh, tell you to do, man. Yeah. Man made ceremony. Yeah. That shit is just traditional, man. It's just a tradition, man. All right? But it, it wasn't a, a actual or Those wasn't oracles from the Most High. All right? Thanksgiving, that's definitely not an oracle of the Most High. That's right. The Lord said he, he, he hates and despises your feast days, man. Because those days were not uh, uh, days that the Lord told our people to be keeping. All right? The Lord already gave us feast days uh, during, during the time of uh, Moses. I got it. We had high holy days, man. Right. We had the Passover. We had the, uh, the, the the Feast of Tabernacles. The Feast of First Fruits. Those were high holy days that the Lord sanctioned. Not thanks taken, man. A dinner set up to commemorate a, 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 a genocide and the raping of an entire race of people. That's what Thanksgiving is all about, man. You eating in memory of the so-called white man confiscating America from the North North American Indians. All right. And what pisses me off the most is not the so-called white man and what he's done. You see whether niggas and speaks and up the tomahawk. It's y'all. Y'all the ones that make this popular and keep this moving forward. Y'all the ones that argue about these traditions and try to hold up the tradition of your oppressor. That's what pisses me off the most. We out here to warn you about what the Heavenly Father is trying to show you to get away from the so-called white man, but you want to defend his ass. But guess what? Y'all that defend it, y'all want to destroy right along with it. That's right. Look back on you, bro. Ye hold the traditions of men as washing pots and cups and many other, any, uh, many other such like things ye do. Uh -huh. And he said unto them, full well, Ye reject the commandments of Yahweh that ye may keep your own traditions. Full well, you people reject the commandments of the Most High God to keep your own traditions. Like Thanksgiving, like Christmas, like Halloween, mm -hmm. like New Year's, like St. Patrick's Mother's Day, Day, like Mother's Day, like, like Easter. You follow those, but you will not follow what the Heavenly Father said. Saint you ain't gonna follow the Day of Atonement. You ain't gonna follow uh, Lord of the Trumpets. You're not gonna follow a parion, a parim. They don't even know what that days. is. They don't so, even know what any of that is, man. Right. You tell them, you ask the average Negro, knowing damn well this truth been coming out for so long now, it's all over the world. But you ask the average nigga on the streets, hey man, we, hey, uh, you keep the um the, the, the day of uh, atonement, day of atonement. What's that? He gonna look at you sideways, man. You don't even know what that is. Is that what y'all Muslim type niggas be doing? Yeah. Like that? They gonna come out there because they want because you just think you know everything. Nobody can tell you or correct you about nothing. Yep. Guess what? You gonna hear our words of correction? And you gonna hear the Heavenly Father's pain. He gonna bring that indignation on you for not listening when he sent somebody. What he basically did was send one of your brothers to, to tell you he gonna come back and he ain't got time to talk to play games when he come back. But you don't want to hear up? It's all right. That's all right. So we gonna further one. That was good on that, bro. 
Go to Amos right there. Amos 5, chapter, Amos chapter 5, verse 21. Uh-huh. I hate. I despise your feast days. I hate. I thought God said God was all love. Right here in Amos, it says God says, I hate. I despise your feast days. What feast days is he talking about? All these pagan ass traditions that you people keep. Like Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Christmas, anytime y'all gather up and eat all them abominable ass foods, not in the name of the Lord, but his real name. He hates that shit. He hates your birthday. He hates Mother's Day. He hates Father's Day. He hates all of that. He says, I hate, I despise your feast days, and I would not smell in your solemn assembly. Because he used to enjoy the savor and the smell when we sacrificed unto him on these high holy days. He loved that with us. He would bless us even more when we used to do it, when we were keeping the statue of the commandments. But now, matter of fact, get um, Isaiah the first chapter. Hold on to that. Hey, the Lord's, the re hey, the Lord's saying, I won't smell it. Cause what is, what is, what's the what's the main abominable beast that you sacrifice man. today, man? That damn pork. Yeah. The Lord constantly got to smell that damn swine cooking through your damn kitchen, man. Right. And all it does is make the Lord that much more angry. All right. Well, four and four. That's why the Lord said. That's why the Lord said, "I will not smell in your uh, solemn assembly." Right. All right. And this solemn assemblies is like the the, uh, the serious. The serious is, is, it means serious. Like the Passover, that's a serious high holy day, man. Yeah. yeah. So the Lord ain't no joking on that. Ain't day. no joking. Ain't no partying on that day, man. But you got Israelite groups that that turn the Lord's Passover into into the after hour spot, man. Right. An actual party, like like they partying at the club. The Lord ain't he ain't he ain't li he ain't listening to the music. He ain't hearing your your your, your um your, your prayers. He ain't smelling your 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 um your meats, your sacrifices. Yep. So let alone these wicked pagan holidays that you hold here in America. Right. The Lord ain't dealing with that, man. Hey, the Father said, if you heathens that ain't from this country, you should be ashamed of yourself for following these wicked ass pagan holidays hmm. that the white man has put out there for you in this country. You don't, you shouldn't feel obligated. America wasn't founded on, on you keeping the traditions of the so-called white man. It was supposed to be free. Remember that you can keep your own traditions and your own religion. That's what it was supposed to be founded on, but you people are hypocrites. First Amendment. The First Amendment said you could do that, but you feel weird, and the, the people make you feel weird for keeping your own traditions of your own country. As in Rome. Right, right. As in Rome, do as the Romans do. And why, and, and, why, and why? Because the so-called white man, he has his agenda. That's his new world order. Right. To everybody live the way he wants you to live. Right. Even though he, he don't live that way. way. Exactly. He's a hypocrite himself. He don't have to keep his own way, but he wants the rest of you to. Yep. He wants to keep all y'all in line, man. All right? If I say for y'all to worship, Roman Catholicism, everybody must be a, a, a Catholic. Yep. Which Catholic means universalism. Yep. Universal. You know? That's why everybody is so damn worldly in this society, man. And, and universal, not meaning like outside the universe, not like that. I mean universal with every, all is welcome. Everybody is world, yeah. Every, Everybody. Like but that's the opposite they want, of what the most high want. Yeah, because they want everybody to be one. Right. But the Lord didn't sanction that. Yeah, exactly. But the Lord didn't sanction that, man. That's why the Lord took down the, uh, the Tower of Babel during the time of ancient Babylon. Right. Right? That's what you know, you got it on what you uh, No, no. Yeah, let me get uh, verse 22. It says, Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Yep. Neither will I regard the peace of the sacrifices that used to go on back in the, in the ancient times before that would be to, to atone for your sins and the things that you did wrong throughout the time of the year. It was to cover yourself from the bad and the, that you couldn't keep perfectly. But now, he ain't going to uphold that stuff to you. Why? Because you're doing stuff out of, uh, out, of, uh, out of wickedness now. You're taking something that was supposed to help you to be a, uh, a way to get out of things to be something wicked. You, you're down, now you weren't supposed to be sacrificing uh, uh, pork and, uh, and, and, and ham and all of that.